I'd like to congratulate uh, governors of Florida, Ron DeSantis, Governor Brian Kemp of Georgia and South Carolina, Henry McMaster. They were really hit hard, and they've done really a fantastic job. The federal government, on the other hand, has, has not done what you're supposed to be doing, in particular with respect to North Carolina. They've let those people uh, suffer unjustly, unjustly. And 45th President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. start again with just my children and my wife thank my lucky stars to be living here today cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away and I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm Today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. And there are many people saying, in particular, highly respected analysts like Scott Besant, one of the top analysts on Wall Street, that the only reason that the stock market has gone up is because Donald Trump is doing very well in the polls, and it looks like he's going to win. A lot of people are saying that. Who knows? But a lot of people are saying that. That all over the world. The other big news is the fraud committed by 60 Minutes and CBS, together with the Democrat Party, working together with them, which will go down as the single biggest scandal in broadcast history, I predict. It's a big story. I don't know if you've seen it yet. It happened. They learned about it yesterday evening. A big problem in our country is the fake news. We have such fake news. I mean, I've had a recent thing where, uh, as an example, an Obama disciple named Peter Baker, he writes for the failing New York Times. He wrote a piece about me. And just one of the many things he said that was wrong, but he said that uh, I would go around saying that I was honored here years ago as the man of the year or whatever. And uh, I talked about how your car industry, this was long before, many years before I ran for president, uh, maybe 18, 20 years ago. And he made the statement that that never took place, that honor never took place. I was never honored here, which was quite insulting, actually. And I didn't remember the specifics of it. It was 18 or 20 years ago. But he said it, it never took place. Very much like Kamala, she said she worked at McDonald's, and she didn't. <laughs> and I didn't want to get into that, so what I did is I asked my people, you got to find it. <laughs> when? It was like 19 years, seven, it was a long time, but I was honored. And guess what they found it? I was. <laughs> right here. Nice looking young guy. <laughs> no, it was a long time ago. So this was in, uh, let's see, this was an update of the article that they originally printed. It says, uh, Oakland County GOP to honor Donald Trump, former president, to speak at upcoming Lincoln Day fundraising dinner. And it says down here, the county party gave Trump the Man of the Year Award at the dinner to and uh, he was honored as man of the year. So here's your article right here, Oakland Press, Oakland County GOP to honor Trump. And I have a man in the failing fake New York Times, disgraceful paper, they ought to be ashamed. They make, they, whatever they say, believe the opposite. <laughs> Who knows how long they're gonna be around. It's, it's killing, it's killing our country, this kind of stuff. We don't wanna be in a position where we have a problem, and we need China to help us out with steel. That could, that could be a serious problem. Uh,
Do you think they'd mind selling us some steels in the middle of a conflict? But I don't think we'll have a conflict with China. I think we'll get along with China, and I think we'll get along with Russia, and I think we'll get along with Ukraine, and I think we're going to get that one settled. And I think we're not going to have a problem with Israel, like October 7th would never have happened. Russia would have never happened. They would have never gone into Ukraine had I been president. Your car industry is going out of business. It's going out of business. Nothing to do with me. I stopped that. I stopped Mexico, which is becoming the second China. I stopped Mexico from taking your car plants and moving them into Mexico and taking all of the all of that business, making it in Mexico. So we lose all. I want German car companies to become American car companies. I want them to build plants in America. Otherwise, I'd rather not have their cars here. Instead of American workers worrying about losing their jobs to foreign nations, I want foreign nations to be worried about losing their jobs to America. That's going to happen. It's going to happen. Why aren't they approving voter ID? Democrats don't want voter ID. You know why? Because they want to cheat. But they don't want to. I say, oh, they don't. When I first thought, I thought I was seeing things. I thought I was like, did, I didn't hear that. When I first started this, oh, they'd say, the Democrats will not approve voter ID. And it's only gotten worse. Uh, Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, just passed a bill. Had a, he signed a bill that you're not even allowed to ask anybody whether or not they have voter ID. Not only did we allow them to come in and raid and rape our country, that's what they did. Oh, he used the word rape. That's right, I used the word rape. They raped our country. It was the biggest renaissance in the history of our country. We had the greatest period of success in the history of our country. We did more revenue at 21% than we did at close to 40 percent. People were going wild. Businesses were flourishing. Small business tariff, because we're not going to let them come in to our country and destroy what's left of our auto industry, because it's a failing industry, just like it's a failing country right now. We're a failing country. You know, we're a nation in decline. I hope you know that. Doesn't uh, make me feel good to say it, but we're not going to be a nation in decline for very long. That was the first I realized. I said, who the hell did that? I saw engines about three, four years ago. These things were coming, cylinders, no wings, no nothing. And they're coming down very slowly, landing on a raft in the middle of the ocean someplace with a circle. Boom. Reminded me of the Biden circles that he used to have, right? He'd have eight circles, and he couldn't fill them up. But then I heard he beat us with the popular vote. I, I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't fill up the eight circles. I always loved those circles. They were so beautiful. But they couldn't get people, so they used to have the press stand in those circles, because they couldn't get the people. Then I heard we lost. Oh, we lost. No, we're never going to let that happen again. But we've been. But interestingly, it's often those allies that we consider to be friends that have uh, been the greatest abusers. We have some great abusers. I'll give you an example. The European Union sounds so nice. The European Union of countries. Oh, it's so nice. They're brutal. We have a $200 billion deficit with them now higher than that, 250 something. And uh, like I asked at the time, Angela, Angela, how many Chevrolets do we have in the middle of Berlin? Oh, I do not know. Perhaps, perhaps none. You're right, Angela. You're right. How about Frankfurt? How many do we have? How many Fords do we have in Frankfurt? Oh, I don't think any. And yet they send their cars to us like a bunch of dummies we are. BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, by the millions and millions and millions. And we're not doing that. We're not doing that crap anymore, OK? Now they're going to have to play by our rules. They're going to have to play by our rules. But China, you know, they're destroying our country. You see, that's the real threat to democracy, stupid people. That's the threat. Our biggest threat to democracy is stupid people. But that's up for whoever 
is going to be your next president. I think Kamala, it's not going to be high on her list. I don't think anything that we're talking about today is high on her list. I mean, the whole country is going to be like, you want to know the truth? It'll be like Detroit. Our whole country will end up being like Detroit if she's your president. You're going to have a mess on your hands. She destroyed San Francisco. She destroyed, along with Newscom, California. And uh, we're not going to let her do that to this country. We're not going to let it happen. So...